Because yes, you yes. you have been seen. Uh, the devil is a liar. Yes. He's a liar. Uh, the Lord was dealing with me greatly on a certain topic. And uh, I go to, to research everything and to, to, to gather the message you gave me this morning. And uh, it was erased from my Kindle. So I said, you know what? This is, the, the, I, I just got so angry and frustrated. I didn't know what to do. So I just text past me. Like, well, you got to say, you got you to gotta testify. You got to say something. Take what you got. And I'll do it. That's right. But I, I will testify of something that happened. The Lord, over, before Salt and Sin, uh, during the Lord literally, literally just poured so much into me. And uh, he dealt this church greatly. Things were done in a spirit that we have not seen manifested in the natural yet. And uh, I felt it. He, he, he showed me some things. So I'm very excited about what's about to take place. Uh, before Solomon's Temple, uh, weeks before, during a powerful service that we had, the Lord spoke to me and said, that he had prolonged someone's years. He gave somebody extra years of life during that service. And I didn't know who it was. He didn't, he didn't show me, he didn't tell me. So, during Solomon's assembly, the Lord woke me up about three, it was between three and four, and just tapped me on my shoulder. And at first, I was like, Lord, I don't want, I don't feel like being attacked right now with no, the money, horses, anything like that. I'm like, Lord, what is it? And he says, he said, it's me. I got up. He told me to pray for certain people, my parents and my spiritual mentors. And I prayed for pastor and leadership of this church. Right. And I laid back down. And as I laid my head down on the pillow, he said, get back up. And he took me to, he told me to go over my Bible and to read Isaiah 58. And, uh, and if you know anything about that chapter, that passage, it's dealing with fasting. God's way of fasting. Not my own personal way of fasting. Not what I think is right, but his way of fasting. They began to show me, to, to deal with me on fasting according to his way. Don't fast how you want to fast, but fast as I have instructed. And so I immediately thought, well, Lord, haven't I been fasting the way you know that, that you know, a, to a way that will please you? He said, you got to go deeper. You must suffer. There's no suffering, long suffering. There's no suffering in your fasting. Then you have not reached that point where you have not reached that, 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 that level of fasting that I desire. You got to suffer. So this morning, uh, that's one of the things that I want to testify, just talk a little bit about. As we went through solemn symptoms, like I said, the Lord did great things, but we must continue to fast and praise the God, seek God daily. So let's make sure we stay, stay with that, continue to do it, because when we continue in that fasting and that praying and seeking of the Lord, we will see those things come to pass. But also, when I was praying for uh, Sister Magine and Brother Magine, uh, that night, or that morning rather, uh, the Lord woke Sister Machine up and she began to pray for me the same time. And at that time, she, uh, she got up praying. Her mom, there was something going on downstairs, so she go and check on her. And her mom, had seen an angel, a death angel. The death angel came to visit her. 
And it's all going to make sense in a moment. What I had prior, what the Lord gave me was a, a, a prophetic word sure. weeks before that he had extended someone's life. Yeah. But that night, I didn't know it at the time. It had, everything just started connecting was, well, this morning when I was at work praying and studying, everything was connecting. I was talking to Sister Magine and she was talking about some of her dreams that she had had. That when she told me that, when she was talking about the dreams that she had, uh, the Holy Spirit just began to connect everything. Yeah. And he showed me that word that he gave me was for Sister Magine's mom. That was a prophetic word. That her life was extended that day. And so the deaf angel came to visit her, and, and um, there was some certain activity that took place that I cannot remember all the detail of. But as we know, it's just Jean's mom. She's still here. Matter of fact, she should be at church today. So, uh, so God is doing great things. He's doing great things. He's moving in ways that we just cannot comprehend. But if we can remain. Remain steadfast. Yeah. We can continue to pray, to seek His face, yeah. to fast. We're going to see powerful things happen. Come on. I encourage each and every one of you. To dig deep inside. Yeah. This is the main thing I want to share. To dig deep. To dig deep. I know Solomon, Solomon, Solomon Assembly, we, we, we fasted, we prayed, we did all kind of things, you know, as far as shutting away worldly uh, uh, activities, or not that we go to the world and participate in worldly activities, but uh, things that, uh, that uh, please our flesh. That things that that we are drawn to as far as the kernel. Uh, so we shut some things off, we, we gave some things up, we sacrificed. Uh, but the Lord wants us to go deeper. Are we suffering in our sacrifices? That doesn't mean that the Lord wants to see you in pain or uh, He desires to see you uh, you know, ill or anything like that. But it's another level, and there's another level to, to sacrifice. And when we can tap into that, when we can do that, when we can put our truly, that's when we truly put our flesh aside, when we can do that, God is going to do bigger things in the signs, the wonders, the miracles that we've been praying for. We're going to see them consistent. But we must be consistent in what we're doing, what we're called to do. God is, God is faithful. He's going to be faithful. He's going to keep his word. Yes, he is. So let's do what we have to do to get those, to get to those levels that we are longing for, to, to see the miracles, the signs and wonders that we are longing for. I mean, we have seen them. Don't get me wrong. We have seen them. The Lord has done great things in many ways. But there is so much more that we are just so close to, to just, yes, sir. I mean, you can just reach for me. It's right, it's that close, it's that close. So I encourage you this morning, dig deeper. I, I, I testified of Sister Magine's mom, I gave you a, tes a testimony because uh, that was just something, you know, the Lord began to use me more in the gifts that he has um, giving me, giving all of us. I don't believe that we all, we, we, you know, we have the Holy Spirit. I don't believe that one gift is assigned to just one specific person. Right. Sure. But I believe we can be using all of them. Sure. And uh, the Lord is beginning to use me more and more. But it's, it's, that don't happen unless Titus sacrifice. Unless I sacrifice and it hurts. 
God take pleasure when we sacrifice and we give up something that truly, that truly uh, is a craving for our flesh, for our flesh craves. Yeah. But be encouraged. Be encouraged. God is in the midst of us. Amen. He's here. He's doing great things. I, I talk to friends all over uh, Indiana and other areas. My best friend Josh Gorby, he prayed for, you know, he's been seeking God diligently. He prayed for me and he got a better wheelchair to walk around the church. Just all kind of things are going on. I talked to my friend Stephen Gill down in Kokomo. The Lord is doing great things for him and you know, it, you know, as he's a young minister also. You know, so things are happening, not just here at Bishop Walk, but all over. But we have a responsibility. We must continue to seek God diligently and remain faithful because our God is faithful. Amen. 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 So let's worship the Lord today. Let's praise the Lord. Let's be attentive to what the pastor, what our pastor has for us today. Amen. 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 Praise God.